Hey everyone, welcome to this channel. Today we'll be testing 60 RPM bow motors. These motors are also damp cheap and also available everywhere. These motors are also used in most of the wheel robots which students or any of the prototypes and industries are also made on. Let's see how they perform and how consistent are they with variable voltages. We'll be doing RPM testing today. So I've put the motor onto the test, connected to the encoder which connects to the rig and gives output on the right hand side of the screen. Currently I'm supplying 3 volts. The motor should be running optimally at 9 volts. Since it's 3 volts, the speed should be around 33. Now you can see that the RPM is around 34 which is really really precise. So all these bow motors which have lower RPM are much precise than the higher RPM motors. Now let's test at voltage 6. So at this voltage the speed should be around 66. Let's see. Hmm. What it shows is around 76. AT2 is something which is constant. So at voltage 6, the optimal speed is around AT2. Now let's test the motors at optimal voltage of 9 volts. On this volt, the speed should be around 100. Now we are set to 9 volts. Let's see. What we're getting speed is around 128. Now there's a major deflection on the higher and recommended voltage, but on the lower voltages, it is really, really precise. So if you're using these motors using PWM for a certain speed which is lower than 30 or 40 RPM, it'll work really accurate, else it will not. So after the results, we figured out that these motors are really good when it comes to lower voltages. But at lower voltages, the torques are so low that the load of the encoder itself it could not take. Apart from that, if you go to 6 volts, there's a deflection of around 20-25 RPM. But at recommended voltage at 9 volts, the deflection is of 30 RPM, which is not at all good. If, imagine you have 4 motors connected to one chassis and you have 4 RPMs randomly driving the whole car in random directions. That is not good, right? Anyways, I'll be doing a test on torque testing on these motors next week. So stay tuned on this channel and thanks for watching.